Hi guys, and what I'm going to be doing today is just a f beginner's nail patterns that you can do on your nails. And I've just got my nails done recently on Saturday. My big sister. So we went to Frankie and Mary's and then we went to the arcade on the bowling and we did fun stuff there. And yeah, we had loads of fun at the arcade and we had little, we had like foot there at Frankie and Mary's. I don't know what Frankie and Mary's is, you probably do, but it's a restaurant and my big sister got my nails done for me, well she got my nails and yeah, and she took me and got these done. So yeah let's go on so this is just for beginners like nails patterns so yeah let's get on with it. and if you don't have like because i'm going to be using like gel for gel nails so if you don't have them you should surely go check out on amazon i think it is it's what you should love first day but i think it's from amazon you get the sugar and spice gel nail so this is just a cat and then came with a LD light to dry your nails and two in one gel seal, gel primer and colour and the conditioning to finish off so let's go into the video for the setting time. So what you will need for this is sellotape and we'll see what that's for, scissors for cutting the cell tape and I'll show you what that's for in a minute as well. Optionally cotton buds or cotton wool. I just had cotton buds because it was the first thing I saw but we do have cotton wool as well just to make it look nice for the finisher and yeah. And obviously you will need um, your colour. I just have this burgundy kind of purple colour. Now it's moving on to the gel nail ingredients so first you will need to be using as your gel primer. Gel primer there. And then the next thing you will be using is the 2 in 1 gel seal. And then the last thing you'll be using, optional, with these, we'll just be dipping it in. Like so you open it and then you'll dip it in. And then it's just the conditioning gel finishing fluid. So. Yeah, let's get on to doing my nails. So, yeah. So first I'm going to be taking my cell tape and I'm going to cut off the end bit. This isn't what I'm using the scissors for. I need the scissors for loads more things. I'm going to cut a wee bit off. Just like this much. And then I'm going to keep leave it on there. Then I'm going to fold the other bit of cell tape over. Then I'm going to cut this in half. But I'm still going to be using it. And then I'm going to take this bit, put it over here just now, and cut this one up in a little sizes. Uh, so we can make the little shapes. I'll be back when that's all done. Now I've got two bits, so I'm going to be taking one bit of the cello tape and putting it diagonal. Uh, and you can do all different designs, but I've just ch chosen to do this one first. And I'm just going to stick that there. And I'm not going to cut off any edges, so I can pull it off at the end. It's just like that. And then I'm going to get the other one. And put it on the other way. Just get this thinner bit. On there. Then I'm going to be taking the gel primer and placing that over it. So I'm just going to do this. This is kind of like a water. So now I'm going to let this dry under the LED dryer. So I'll be back when this is all dried. So now I'm in past and it's just like that now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the gel seal on. And if you can see a blue light shining from there. 
at my um, light thing. And then that's my brother outside. So I'm just putting that so And I want it to be quite thick, so I'm putting it all around my nails. So I'm putting it a lot on. Well, not a lot. But enough to be thick. There we go, just keep that stuff on there. And put that under the dryer for a minute. So now I put it under for two minutes just to make sure it was dried. And now I'm just going to stick them back on because you can just hold them. And now I'm just going to take my colour and stick it on there. So I'm just going to be doing two coats. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry. So I'll put that under the dryer. So I'll be back when it's done. Right, guys, I'm putting the gel back on. So I'm just there we go. Now I'm going to put it under the dryer. Under here for two minutes. That in a minute. Bye. Now guys I'm going to put the last two coats of the colour on so it's nice and pigmented. So I'm just that on there, let it dry and then I'm going to put more on. So guys I'm going to put the last coat on now of this whole nail. So then after this dries, I'm taking the silicone off. Yep, that's the colour that I want. And yeah, I'll see you when they dry. So guys, now that it's been like two minutes, it's been in there for so I've turned off my light. There we go. And now it's time to take off this. Let me just see if it's dry. Yep, that is dry, all right. So I'm just going to take it off now. This is also an Instagram DIY that I saw. Whoa, this works. This is so cool. This is like it's been done by a professional. Not to send some pics up. It's been pretty well. So that's my finished nail. Except for this bit. And this is also gel that's it's on. So, yeah. Now I'm going to do another one on the bum, so we're going to make the design. So guys, now I'm going to attempt to make an acrylic nail, but it's just going to be a clear one. Now I'm going to paint it with maybe a teal, so yeah, and then I'll frame it. So I'm going to go in with the gel primer, and don't blame me if this goes wrong, because I am f like one of the worst person at nails. So I'm just going to paint that over the silicone, and I had to make this nail stencil by myself by the way so put the last coat there's a gel primer on so now I'm going to go and put this under the dryer hi this is going under the dryer I'm going to take the sugar and spice gel to one gel seal and put that on so guys, the acrylic nail doesn't work, so I've just put nails like across that way and across that way, so I just have crosses all the way down to nail, and I'm just, I can't really bother doing the gel nails, so I'm just going to paint down, I'm just going to paint, 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 and then hopefully it turns out the way I want it, I think it will, just needs loads of coats, like hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. I know it kind of looks pretty messy right now, but it will turn out good, so I'm just going to go dry when I'm on it. Because there's like, maybe all the noise, so I'm just gonna go dry it. So, guys, now it's revealing time. 
I'm going to take all of them off now, so here goes the first one. Well, that kind of just took it off. Most of it. So, last one. Okay, this did not work. Like, I'm moving because none this does not work. Like, one bit. But mostly went on this already. It just turned out not very good, but. So, I'm going to do one on this finger, I just don't know what yet, so I'll be back to you when I thought something. So guys, I just went up and down the silly tape and that was the dead end, so it's going to, it's supposed to come out like squares. And these are, I've seen these all on Instagram, and I've just been thinking of what ones to do, because there's so many. So it took me like five minutes to figure out that. Like five minutes to figure out what I need to do because there's so many and there's so many I can't do because I'm not very good at it. But I'll keep on trying to get my growth mindset up to. Yeah, yeah, that's what we've been worried about. Just get growth mindset. But oh well. So I'm drier now. So I'll be back to you when it's done. When it's all completed. I went by that. So guys, sorry if you can hear my brother in the background, he's talking to his friend. Um, so now I've decided to put glitter on this one, so I'm going to choose silver. So I'll be back when this is on. I'm trying. So guys, now it's time to take the stripes off. This one doesn't work either. And there for a bit of So that's my nails done. So yeah, that was three styles. So yeah. So guys, thanks for watching my video today and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, like more nail videos like this. And don't forget to give me ideas down and below in the comments. So yeah, be in tune for the next video and get make sure beside the um subscribe button make sure you have that bell on so every time I make a new video you know and you can be one of the first persons to see my video and then the first person to comment in every video now gets a shout out so make sure